Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Just a quick one, updating everyone with the latest jailbreaking news. All right, this and more in today's video. All right, so before we begin, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest news. Definitely check out our Best Tech Info website for all of the information in today's video and download links and more. And lastly, if for whatever reason you're on iOS 12.1.3 or 12.1.4, definitely downgrade to iOS 12.1.1 Beta 3 as it's still being signed, surprisingly. Now, if you guys want a tutorial on how to do this process, definitely check out the video in your cards now or down below in this video description. All right, well, let's get directly into the news. All right, so if you've been keeping up with the latest jailbreaking news, you'll know that just about four days ago, Pwn tweeted out this incredible tweet saying Cydia is looking good on iOS 12. Now, as a quick update, he stated yesterday that he has successfully got tweaks running on Cydia Substrate on iOS 12. And as we now know, Cydia Substrate has been updated in the background by Sorik. And so everything that's left to do can be entirely accomplished by the Uncover Jailbreak team. And speaking of what's left to do, he tweeted out this a couple days ago as well, saying what's left for the public beta. If you guys don't know, this jailbreak is going to hit public beta stages here very soon. I would say in the next week, potentially, we would definitely see a beta of this come out. The final utility, we'll have to wait and see exactly how long that will be. Anyway, Pwned Own says, we still have to fix a bug in Core Trust and work around that. I'm guessing that has to deal with A12 support. He says, we have to fix a few sandbox patches, clean up the implementation, do more private testing to make sure that this is all safe. Well, another major update that I want to share with you guys, he says, shout out to Jake James for reworking Tim Starr's exploit to not need an offset finder. And this comes into play because now Pwned Own also tweeted out this the same day saying he has successfully got Uncover running on a 4K device, so that's the iPhone 5S and iPhone 6, on iOS 12 with Tim Starr's exploit. Well, let's take a step back and remember what we kind of have confirmed in the background. Initial support for this jailbreak utility is definitely going to be coming for A9 to A11 devices. So that's the iPhone 6S all the way up to and including the iPhone 10. And in all likelihood, this jailbreak utility is going to support iOS 12 all the way up to and including once again, iOS 12.1.2. Now, with this tweet that he tweeted out, we potentially may be seeing initial support for A7 and A8 devices like the iPhone 5S, iPhone 6, and the iPod Touch 6th generation. Now, if you guys recall, A12 support will be coming, so the iPhone XS, XS Max, and XR will eventually be jailbroken with Uncover. But Pwned Own tweeted a while back, I can't seem to find the tweet, that he said he is going to get the jailbreak utility running on the other devices before he focuses on A12 devices devices. So let's talk about some jailbreak prep. Now, as you guys may have seen from the intro of this video, I currently am running the rootless jailbreak with just a few minor modifications installed. I didn't go too crazy with modifying a bunch of stuff. Pretty much everything that I've done within this jailbreak, I can easily uninstall by clicking on jailbreak. And that's definitely what you need to do before you install Uncover. And Pwned Own tweeted out this saying, you should really not modify your file system so much before a full-fledged jailbreak with Cydia and Substrate support comes out. So really, that's why we haven't been covering the rootless jailbreak, is now that this jailbreak with Cydia is literally just about to be out in the next week or so, definitely I would avoid the rootless jailbreak and just wait. It's going to be a lot safer to use a jailbreak utility like Uncover that has some fail safes in it like restoring the root file system and overall just has a lot more testing and backend work that went into it to make it really foolproof and not be that risky to your device. With the rootless jailbreak, none of that extra support is there. You could potentially boot loop your device by modifying system files within Filesa, or if you install a bad tweak for whatever reason, even something as simple as that could mess up your device. And I've even heard reports on Reddit that even clicking the un-jailbreak button has boot looped people's devices. So again, guys, it's really not that safe to be doing it. Only do it if you know what you are doing. And really, for the general jailbreaker, I would just wait until the un 
Uncover Beta or the final version of Uncover is released. All right, so like I said throughout this entire video, we're almost here. Well, I just wanted to reiterate this one more time. Pwn to Own also tweeted this out a few days ago. He says, you still have a chance to get a jailbreak with Cydia and Substrate, even if you're on iOS 12.1.3 or up, by downgrading to iOS 12.1.1 Beta 3 before it gets unsigned by Apple and staying there. And again, like I said at the beginning of this video as well, it is still being signed as of recording this video. Definitely downgrade if you're on 12.1.3 or above, as the jailbreak utility is not going to include support for those firmwares. And just as a minor update, here at the top, Pwn to Own also tweeted this out saying, Cydia and Substrate support for iOS 12 will be released as soon as it's ready for public testing. We are working on it, guys. Please be patient. So there it is, guys. That is all the latest news that you absolutely needed to know today. Um, definitely, if you want more information, check out our Best Tech Info article. And if you want more tutorials and download links, um, definitely go to there as well. Very, very, very lastly, um, if you guys are on iOS 12 to 12.1.2, definitely install the tvOS beta profile to block over there updates on device so your iPhone doesn't automatically update overnight to the latest version of iOS. Again, this link will be down below or in your cards now as well. Anyway, guys, that's just about everything that I wanted to cover in today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And again, stay tuned as some awesome jailbreak news is going to be coming very soon. Anyway, until next time, this is Tony signing out. Thank <laughs> you.